Hi everybody, today we will be discussing deep versus superficial learning. In this five minute presentation, we will be covering various aspects such as background, overview, definitions, factors affecting learning style, deep learning and reflection, and finally references. In 1976, these two scientists, Ferenc Martin and Roger Salio, introduced two different learning approaches in their paper looking at students' approach to academic tasks. The first one they found was learning focused on understanding, and the second was learning focused on reproducing. This slide shows an overview of superficial and deep learning. On the left side, a teacher or content oriented program is where the teacher makes sure that the students re are receiving the appropriate information in the syllabus. Also, teachers saw an importance in creating assessments that tested detailed factual knowledge and saw the outcomes of these assessments as the students' responsibility from their own motivation and ability. This type of environment allows for superficial learning. In between is when the teachers in this group set assignments that ensured active learning, that is meaningful learning that really relates to personal experiences and the development of efficient study skills. However, similar to teacher-oriented program, the teachers maintained to see learning as a responsibility of the students only. On the right side, the students or learning oriented program is where the teachers used a variety of assessment systems. They incorporated different methods and realized their own responsibility of ensuring the development of a deep understanding in students. This type of environment allows for deep learning. These are the definitions of superficial and deep learning. Superficial learning, the students take a passive approach and seek to learn co the content, acquire the knowledge, and get the right answers. However, deep learning, the students take underlying meaning, the wider picture, the relationship between different information and experiences, the logic of the argument, and the need to question and understand. This slide shows the factors contributing in learning style. The students' engagement in their own learning affects whether or not they will learn by deep or superficial means. Their interest in the subject and how motivated the student is to learn and understand the material is key to how they will be able to critically use it in the real world. The overall workload contributes to how the students will learn material. If there is an excess of material or the introduction of material is done too quickly, the students may have difficulty internalizing the material and resort to superficial learning. In the same way, assessment methods can determine how a student chooses to learn. If an assessment is structured around simply recalling facts, the students may use superficial learning to prepare for the exam. As opposed to an exam with discussion or problem-based questions, which would rely on a student's critical thinking and thought processing. Instructors should conduct regular casual assessments of the students in a non-judgmental environment to foster the students' participation in their own learning and understanding. Additionally, having prior knowledge in a field may help students utilize deep learning because they have an understanding of the material that can be built upon, compared to, and integrated into more complex concepts or principles. Without having any previous understanding of a topic, students may be forced to quickly and inadequately learn the material, which would be similar to a superficial learning of the topic. While deep learning is the ideal method of learning for any student, an instructor, instructor cannot simply require deep learning from their student, unfortunately. It is up to the students to utilize deep learning. In this slide, we see how reflection is a way of assessment. It is also a catalyst that moves superficial learning to deep learning. In context of medical education, consideration of the larger context, the meaning, and the implications of an experience or action. It also relates professional knowledge to practical competence. Thank you for watching. That concludes our presentation.